I'm Matt Mueller, the editor of Screen International at Hong Kong Film Art, and I am joined today by Alaa Fadan, the CEO of Telfaz 11. Welcome, Alaa. So tell us, for those who might not know much about Telfaz 11 and its activities. Telfaz 11 is a leading uh, media and uh, film studio in Saudi Arabia. We're based in Riyadh. Uh, we've been around since 2011. Uh, we have uh, we started in digital, so we have a, you know different pillars in the company. We have digital content, and we have the creative services, and then most recently we have the studio uh, pillar, and we focus on creating uh, mostly content and IP. This is the main focus of the Faz 11. So when you say content and IPs, I would say film has become a more important part of that in recent years. Has the film activity grown significantly? A hundred percent with what's happening in Saudi Arabia. I put a lot of focus in, in, uh, in creating uh, films and, and making films right now. Like you know, cinemas just opened up very recently in Saudi Arabia, so it just made sense for us to kind of take our storytelling from short form digital content to now another area. Uh, which is the uh, theaters and also SPODs. So just taking our stories and putting them in another platform. We've always thought of ourselves as platform agnostic. So we would love, we'd love to tell our stories in any way, shape or form. Uh, so if it means that now people can get to watch it in longer form in the theaters or on the streamers, then we're gonna be there. So a lot of the audience that we have, they're always following what we do. So when we started making movies, they came and started watching um, the films that we created. So in Saudi and outside Saudi originally as well. You've made some uh, interesting uh, deals recently or in the last kind of couple of years, you have a, an output deal with uh, Netflix for eight pictures and you also have a commitment to produce film and TV productions out of Neom, the uh, Saudi uh, media hub that it, that's in North West Saudi Arabia. Can you share some of Telfaz's ambitions around Arabic language content? Our plans are, are pretty ambitious. We plan to produce uh, 20 to 30 projects over the next uh, three years, and that includes feature films, TV, and series. And that's gonna, you know, gonna be done through our commitments to, to our uh, deal and partnership with Netflix, our deal with Neom to produce nine films over there. And this is gonna be done through different slates that we have. So we have a slate that's direct um, to the local box office. And then we have a slate for the SVODs, and this is, you know, that's through our deal with um, streamers like Netflix and platforms like Netflix and, uh, and others. And also we have our international slate, and this is local films or local language films, very authentic, but maybe have a more universal appeal. And these are films that, are, that get picked up by international film festivals, such as TIFF. That's how we're looking at it. But also we're, also, we're, we're looking at doing co-productions with um, non-Arabic language films. And you know, so that's part of our international slate as well. How important is it, do you think, for Saudi films to make the impact in the international market beyond the local audiences? And, and is that a key part of the strategy for your, for your own company? Yeah, we really think about it. We think about it as filmmakers and people who love film and are film enthusiasts. And we really believe that introducing Saudi films or you know, that, um, films from that region is, is very important for the industry in general. Uh, because these are stories that are, haven't been told before and people haven't seen them, especially uh, stories from Saudi. And I think, you know, the industry is due for new stories. Uh, the audience is, is uh, looking for stories that they haven't seen before right now. And this is what the industry needs. And I think the region can provide these kind of stories and can provide a big impact to the industry um, through telling these stories with the nuances of the cultures that we have but also in, that have a universal appeal, that have these human stories that everybody can connect to, but they haven't really heard a story like that because it's a different culture. It's fantastic. Well, Allah, thank you very much for your time. Very nice to meet you and good luck with the rest of the market. Thank you and thank Thanks you for having me.